The movie was a big help. I didn't want to watch it because it pissed me off. It's post-traumatic stress disorder, Lopez. When you get the beginning of the movie, ah, I have the chocolates with cookies and it's embedded in my memory and stuff like that. Yeah, and after a while, you better get the fuck over it. Okay. The hell off the fucking Fort Huachuca and the contractors fucked Amy. Okay. It's, I guess after they do it enough, it's like with my mom. You know? <laughs> my mom, at the Jewish guilt trip, she got it from my granny Kramer, right? And um, she'd make you feel really guilty, you know? And then by the time I graduated from smart aleck to smart ass... Guilty didn't work with me anymore. My sisters were kind of, okay, yeah, my sisters were self-centered. And my sisters wanted to do, my sisters were going to do what they were going to do regardless of what mom and dad's rules were and what they said. And then they got to a certain point and it was like, like Natalie said, you can spank me. I don't care. I like it. It feels good. You know? And I'm like, oh shit, how do I do this? I to, and it, my sisters had it worse than uh, Natalie. Natalie could just go tell the authorities and then the authorities would come through my ass with a fine tooth comb. <laughs> but I would get to those points like when she was going to beat up. Uh, she was trained by Amy. So don't judge Natalie. Thanks, thanks, Jenny. Okay, yeah. To be a bully and to be... Con she was trained by... Amy was trained by her family and they were trained on Hill and stuff like that. Earl, Earl comes from non-bullies, anti-bullies, okay? Uh, Amy was trained by people that gossip and sneaky and bully and use things to sex to control you things like, like on that movie okay sure okay i get you okay okay it's still a stupid movie first of all the kids usually kids that are this psychotic a lot of them are that attractive oh so you're telling me a lot of the rockefellers act a lot like this guy okay okay yeah duke neil rockefeller is as attractive as that uh Ryan Guzman character. Okay, that makes sense. But the storyline is stupid. No, look, okay, maybe, I guess so, in an inept society. And our society is inept. Yeah, but once he fractured that kid's skull, he would have been in lockup, and he wouldn't be able to go and sit there, and after that, you know, and then he sat in here and he called me a dried up cunt. And, okay, but you had to keep it quiet to protect your friend who was having a sexual relationship with the kid who, it wasn't inappropriate, he was almost 20 years old. You can have sex with a 20-year-old when you're 40 who's next door. It's long, it, she had sex with him before he was a student at that school. She started sexually coming out and she was having the hots for him before that. She was weak and vulnerable because her husband cheated on her and she was wondering what was wrong with her. There was nothing wrong with her. They both checked out in the relationship and he screwed around with someone that was hot. And apparently, she had to be hot. I was good. Well, technically, I don't know. No, maybe she kept. Better. Maybe the wife took better care of herself. He felt insecure and had to sleep with someone that was getting a little soft in the middle too. Maybe that's it. But she smelled like chocolate chip cookies because they ate chocolate chip cookies together. Maybe the sex wasn't that great. It was just that he enjoyed the chocolate chip cookies and the, the little soft in the middle now belly. Does that make you feel better now, Miss Claire Peterson? <laughs> This is funny. I'm sorry. And you had to have sex with the hot guy who beats up bags and beats up other people and then films it and gets real weird and wacko like a wacko Rockefeller who has to get really hot and then fuck other people's wives to feel good about themselves when that guy's soft in the middle. <laughs> this is funny. No, I like this. I like break connecting with you now. No, I never looked at it this way. It's past, present, future operate at the same time. Yeah, once you go through, you're criticizing my work. I'm not criticizing your work. I'm criticizing your friends for being short-sighted, irrational, and fearful of their lives when death gives their life meaning. So just don't fear death. Embrace death. Accept it as a part of life, and then you won't be afraid of it. Okay? It's a natural process. It needs to happen in order for your children to live on planet Earth. You have to die so they can have the resources necessary to have a life like you had a good life when you trained them to have a good life. You give all glory to God and not to yourself, right? Right, okay, thank you. Love you too. I was so mad and I didn't even want to see you in the future. I was so pissed at you this morning. It, I don't, I do like you. Half your friends, I do not like. And we've already established this fact, Lopez, and I really don't like Mr. Benny and the Jets. No, no, no. They're the other ones that talk you into, you're going to have to do this, you're all things, you're going to be horrible in your life. Well, I'm not saying that. If he's the king of Israel and the prince of truth, and he's living the truth, and we're all living lie, in the future, the only way I can really have a good life is if I help support the truth with the king of Israel. I agree, Jennifer. That's pretty smart of you. Did you get that, Benny and the Jets? Oh, she's got electric boots, a mohair suit. You know, I read it in a magazine. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's so spaced out. You're going to wear a spaceman uniform like on the Honeymooners that I watched last night? That, that was funny. Yeah, when he did the spaceman uniform and then <laughs> Norton comes in with his sewer. <laughs> he 
things that you win for the space man. Here's the fifty dollars, and he's like, because <laughs> Alice wouldn't give him ten dollars to rent the. Uh, what was he gonna be King Henry the <laughs> Eighth? Funny. No, it's hilarious. The honeymoon is just funny. It's even more funny when you go back and watch it when you're an adult. When you're young, it's just too obnoxious. I couldn't watch it. I was raised Mormon, and I couldn't sit there and watch a man threaten to hit his wife all the time. You know, because I was like, that's just oh, that's mean. That's horrible. You should never threaten to hit your wife. No, never. You should never. I'm not cute as the moon, Alice. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's funny. No. I wanted to hit both wives. Yes, more than once. Well, they were physically violent and abusive and, yeah, and screwed around and used sex and money in the system to extort and exploit me and the children. So, yeah, I contemplated hitting both my wives. Yes, so I couldn't relate with Ralph Cramden. <laughs> One of these days, I was to the moon. As a matter of fact, when... In Sierra Vista, when, Ste when Amy thought me and Natalie were having the affair behind her back because we were outsmarting her, I was like, I don't always do that too. Amy, we live in a two-bedroom apartment with six people. Okay, we're me and Natalie having this torrid affair to have sex together and then kill you and make insurance money off of you. You're retarded. No, you are fucking retarded. You watch this movie with Alec Baldwin and Trinity from, from, from The Matrix, and you think you live in these movies. That's not happening, woman. No. I mean, it could happen if I was a CEO for a major corporation in California, and we lived in Malibu, and Natalie was an undercover call girl, like in the movie. But that's not what's happening. No, we're in Sierra Vista, Arizona, the largest surveillance uh, surveillance town in the whole world, because it's the home of Fort Huachuca Army Intel and Intelligence. And the military's watching you be stupid, and I'm sitting there while we're watching us be stupid, because the military's stupid. Okay, wow, past, present, and future operate at the same time. I knew what was going on, but I tried to explain it to her. It's like, they're watching us. This is Fort Huachuca. They're telling me I'm the line of King David and that I can out math equate most human beings and most human beings are complete retards compared to me. And now it's provable by science <laughs> and the surveillance net. And there's still, I, it's almost hard to believe it. You have to believe it. Jesus, I can't believe they're doing this. She goes like, you have to believe it because this is what's happening to you. This is what's happening. Yes, they are so stupid, so slow, and so caught up in their technology that they can't see the truth to save their own lives. Are you serious? And their own technology will finally change in reversal of, quote, fortune and eliminate them because they're still a threat to planet and species. Really? Yes. Let's find a way to do natural mining. Let's just stop doing a lot of mining altogether for a while. Let's sit there and use our technology to find out how our ecosystem is operating. And then once we do that, then we'll know where to mine, when to mine, when to relieve pressure points in our oil, where we're to, you know what I mean? We'll do it more like we do a diagnostic on the planet. We'll recycle and reuse all the shit that's making life uh, unlivable on the planet. And then we'll change our whole general dynamic of social relative interaction. Less, it's going to be hard for a lot of you because a lot of you are so busy being distracted, doing useless, destructive, planetary psychopathic jobs that... Be, Spending time with your wife and your children and appreciating fresh air and making love and managing your resources enough to love, truly love the children that you make is going to be real hard for a lot of you crazy fucktards. And I realize that. Shut up, Lopez. I can do whatever I want. I don't care if they're pissed off at me. They've treated me like shit. Okay? They filmed and paid for filming my, uh, fucking my wife and trained and groomed Amy to be the sick, sadistic sociopath we have and tell me how evil Amy was. Amy is the evil, the result of the evil that they are. <laughs> I hate you and your wretched flesh. Now I'm going to free your spirit from your flesh so you won't have to walk around as living monster creating zombies that I have to tolerate life with, like The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. That's a really bad movie. But it makes some poignant points, I guess. Whatever. Okay. I've been watching a lot of really bad movies. The Initiation of Sarah... Um, what was it? The zombie holocaust. That was, that was the one that Penny gets a role in. <laughs> like with the one, the gorilla movie that she made on. Yes, fuck. You're watching some of these movies like, what happened? A guy with a lot of money in Hollywood put a lot of hot people together and then put them in a movie and probably slept with half the people in the cast. I could see that happening. Okay. And now it's still out in circulation this day on movie that people watch because it's like it, you can sit at home and do your own mystery science theater with your buddies holy shit yeah me and shelly used to do that we used to go to the movie theater and watch really bad movies and then talk shit about people talk shit it's like this is a dollar movie shut the fuck up 
Uh, if you want to go with Siskel and Ebert, go to the $15 movie. But don't, at the dollar movie, no, come on now. You know it's at the dollar movie because it sucks. And now we're going to talk about it because we're at the dollar movie. We paid a dollar just like you did. You don't want to have to take the commentary from Mystery Science Code from the big black woman and the little white guy that will both kick your ass twice and three times on Sunday. Shut the fuck up. And go to Walmart first and have her pretend she's pregnant and bring in your own popcorn and your own red vines. The only thing you should have to buy is a soda. Okay. I love you guys. And then you share the sodas because they're big bladder busting fucking sodas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. This is too weird, man. I didn't expect this to be like this. It's Lopez. She always tries to make me more lose user friendly for you. A lot of you little fucking geeks. Keep dad from kicking their ass. They need their ass kicked, woman. You're too fucking nice. They need their ass kicked. They're fucking liars. They use their technology to promote lie. Their own technology is going to kill them in the very near future because they have eight more months according to the relative math. It's based on mathematics and computer operations. I don't know how the computer's going to do it. It's based on uh, multifunctional variables. So I don't know who's going to live through this and who's going to die through this by the time I meet people in July. All right. I love you. It's you get to meet me. I don't get to meet you. I don't give a fuck. I get to watch you through a tube and laugh at your stupidity and then say, my God, this is horrible. You would kill your own children to keep being famous on your rock tube uh, uh, insane interaction. Yeah, fucking psychopaths. I don't want to meet a lot of you. You're fucking assholes. Okay, peace.